And for this week, uh, we are going to do a round of, where are they now? A moment where I look back at a WNBA team and let you know what all of their players are doing right now. And we begin with Morgan Birch. She was a rookie last season with the Sky and she is currently playing in the Spanish league uh, and in the Euro Cup uh, for a team called Girona. I'm pr probably pronouncing that name wrong. I'm probably gonna pronounce a lot of these names wrong in this in this segment, so apologies in advance. Uh, Girona plays in Euro Cup and uh, Morgan Birch is currently averaging 13 points per game on 22 minutes played. So shout out to Morgan Birch. Kalia Copper finished her seventh season in the WNBA and opted not to go overseas uh, for this off season. She has spent her time coaching at her alma mater and is now the new women's basketball director of athletic culture and professional development at Rutgers. Long title, right? But, uh, but uh, yeah, shout out to uh, Coach Copper for doing her thing. Now, sort of moving on to uh, second year player, Dana Evans, who plays for Beskitas in the KBSL and Euro Cup. Dana has been really doing her thing overseas. Uh, she's averaging 23 points a game in both the KBSL and Euro Cup. And also she's racking up some, some assists uh, for both leagues as well, averaging 6.1 and 5.8 assists uh, per game, respectively for the KBSL and Euro Cup. And Rebecca Gardner is back. And uh, she was basically injured for the entirety of last season for the Sky. And now she is back healthy and has signed with Garona, the same team as her Sky teammate, Morgan Birch. Uh, Gardner played with the team last year and averaged 13 points a game. So let's hope for a very healthy season for Gardner, who is about to be suiting up pretty soon for her new, or for returning for her team. All right, moving on to Isabel Harrison, who finished her sixth year in the league and also uh, spent the entire year injured for the Chicago Sky. She is still working to be back healthy soon. So uh, prayers for her for that. Last year, she played for Athletes Unlimited. Uh, so we will see what she decides to do this year uh, or, or next year um, in January once she actually gets back healthy. Uh, so uh, also, I do wanna say shout out to Izzy for getting her first PE with the Jumpman brand. All right, next up we have Ruthie Hebert, who has made it three years with the Chicago Sky. Ruthie joined the Sky a bit late last season due to the birth of her child. Uh, for this off season, you can find Ruthie coaching on the sidelines. Like Copper, uh, Ruthie is an assistant coach for TCU. And y'all, just a side comment, but TCU is really looking like the new Oregon. So many former Oregon coaches and players are going to play for TCU. So shout out to TCU. And they're undefeated, so you know, they're doing something right. Sika Kone was a late pickup for the Chicago Sky after training camp. Um, and she had a pretty decent rookie season for the Sky. She is currently playing for Avendia, a Spanish team that per currently plays in both the Spanish league as well as Euro league. Right now, Sika is averaging 13.8 points a game and 6.9 uh, rebounds in EuroLeague. Marina Mabry wrapped up her first season with the Chicago Sky and her fourth season in the WNBA. She is currently playing in, with Mersin. They are a Turkish team playing in the KBSL and EuroLeague. In EuroLeague, she's averaging 18.3 points a game. Robin Parks completed her rookie year with the Chicago Sky and is currently playing with Italian team Ciccio. They play in Italy's uh, Series A League as well as EuroLeague. In EuroLeague, Robin is averaging 11 points a game. Uh, so shout out to Robin Parks. In this past season, Alana Smith showed that she can ball as a, as a Chicago Sky starter. She wrapped up her fourth year with the league and is continuing where she left off with Turkish team, team Imlac. Uh, that plays in both the KBSL and Euro Cup. Atlanta is averaging 19.2 points a game and 8.8 .8 rebounds a game in the KBSL. And we also have Taylor Soul, who joined the Sky late last year as a rookie, and she is doing her thing in Italy with her team San Martino, uh, where she's averaging 11 points, 11.7 points a game, as well as being a starter, playing around 30 minutes a game. Uh, in the Italian Series A1 League. All right, now on to the Williams girls. So Elizabeth Williams wrapped up her eighth year in the WNBA 
and her first year with the Chicago Sky. And now she's playing in Turkey with Merlin, uh, where she is teaming up with Marina Mabry again. Uh, so far, Elizabeth is averaging 10.8 points a game as, as well as 12.1 uh, points a game in both the KBSL and EuroLeague as a starter. And finally, uh, let's talk about the life of the party, Miss Courtney Williams, who wrapped up her seventh year in the WNBA and is now playing it with uh, Shanks Red Wolves in China. Now it's hard to kind of find any information about um, how she's exactly doing um, because I, I don't read the language. However, uh, shout out to Chinese Women's Hoop Show um, because according to them, Courtney Williams is doing a pretty good job. She's had several 20 point games, even helping her team go to overtime with a clutch bucket the other day. So yeah, guys, that is where your 2023 Chicago Sky players are currently. Uh, thoughts about how these players are faring? Let me know in the, in the comments below. Also, 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 let me know if you have a suggestion for another WNBA team that I should highlight next. Also, let me know if you like this format um, of letting you know uh, player by player where folks are going and what they're doing right now.